Hey, how's it going, VG? You're the afternoon step with Josie. And of course, I've got more of hits I lined up for you, so stay tuned for that. But right now, check this song out, man. It's Golden City coming out to do with MDK, ready for your love, right here on Today FM. I'm ready for the start of something new. I'm ready for your love. I'm Josie, your host on the afternoon snap every weekday from 12 to 3 p.m. Right here on Today FM, today's hit music. I'm ready for my hands to touch the sky. Tonight, three political parties have filed appeals after some of their candidate nominations were rejected. Sudelpa says there is no official agreement yet to form a coalition with FLP after elections and Praveen Bala's case deferred until the end of September. Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate and this is FBC News. Three political parties have filed their appeals to the Fijian Elections Office after some of their candidates' nominations were rejected. Only those nominations that met the requirements of the Constitution and the Electoral Decree were published in the dailies today. Ritika Pratap has the story. Convicted Fiji Labour Party leader Mahendra Chaudhry is amongst those whose nomination was rejected, with four other Labour nominees. The party filed 44 nominations but only 37 made the cut. We have appealed to the Electoral Commission. The appeal has been filed this afternoon. So we will await the decision on the five which have been disallowed. Mm -hmm. Your name has been missing from the list. Any explanation given by the Electoral Commission? Uh, no. We've, uh, well, they're relying on the conviction uh, in my case. Uh, but we have uh, appealed and we've given our reasons. And we'll await the decision of the Commission. Despite his ineligibility, Mahendra Chaudhary holds on to the leadership reins. I lead the party. I think I've said that many times to you people. I don't know why you can't understand that. I lead the party into these elections. That's final. Are you considering the fact that there may be a situation where you may not be able to lead the party into parliament? Is that is a different matter. We'll come to that after the elections. Anare Chale of Sadalpa was also rejected. I feel that I've been uh, discriminated or, or attacked or singled out under this particular degree. I also wish to say that I have uh, taken the initiative to uh, appeal against the decision of the supervisor of election. The People's Democratic Party has also responded to the Fijian Elections Office on its decision to drop the names of four PDP candidates. Namely Daniel Urai, uh, Patrick Shamal Singh, and uh, Lekima Loanitokula, and Hiroshi, um, who is our Japanese uh, uh, guy, who is now a Fiji citizen. Linda Tambuya says the party has also filed objections against candidates nominated by some rival parties. As far as our objections are concerned, we have a number of objections uh, based on certain candidates that have been uh, submitted and these will also be uh, put up uh, by 4 o'clock today. Parties that met the criteria and had all their nominations approved include the National Federation Party which submitted the full 50 candidates. Fiji First had 50 candidate nominations also, while one Fiji party has submitted the names of 13 candidates. Umesh Chand and Roshika Deo are the only two independent candidates, while Fiji United Freedom Party nominated only three candidates. Ritika Pratap, FBC News. The Social Democratic Liberal Party leader Rote Mumukepa says there is no official agreement yet to form a coalition with the Fiji Labour Party after the elections. But whilst appearing on FBC TV's For the Record show on Sunday, Rote Mumu says Sodelpa would like to form a coalition with Labour after the elections despite the extreme differences between the two parties' policies. Chanel Sivan reports. The intended coalition agreement seems to be getting weaker. On Sunday, Rote Mumukepa confirmed Labour and Sodelpa only have a verbal agreement. We will have to look at what is negotiable in terms of their policies and our policies and try to work through them as best we can. So we cannot make any promises other than after the elections we will look at, uh, at a coalition. 
if it uh, works out that there will be a coalition, then that's the way we'll go. If it doesn't, then... So a coalition is not set in stone? We haven't signed anything. Sudalpa does not support equal citizenry and common identity for all Fiji citizens. Instead, making a huge push for the recognition of indigenous rights and aspirations. In stark contrast, the FLP fully backs equal citizenry and a common identity for Fijian citizens. Two weeks ago, Labour leader Mahendra Chaudhary condemned Sudalpa heavyweight Lysenian Garase for divisive comments he made about the Quran. Roti Mumu Kepa says Chaudhary is entitled to his opinion. We've had some uh, differences in uh, policies. We will look at uh, the areas of uh, common interest and those that uh, we have uh, differences with. We will uh, look at it and try to sort it out. But with Chaudhary now not able to contest the elections for the first time in his political career, the Sodelpa and the FLP will now have to quickly make a decision if they want the intended collision to achieve fruition. Shanal Shivan, FBC News. The much-anticipated interview with Rote Mumukepa seems to have raised further questions amid the attempted answers. While the Sudalpa leader was definite about some of her views, she was clearly non-committed about a number of important election issues such as common identity, equal citizenry and lease money distribution, preferring to deflect solutions onto consultations that is supposedly going to take place after the elections. Your proper consultations, we would look at it and proper consultations, Simple right around discussions, consultations, uh, Edwin, for it to be returned. The consultation. Goal, the goal, the goal. There has to be wide consultations. We need to make sure that there are consultations. Lautoka and Bar Special Administrator Praveen Bala appeared in the Lautoka Magistrates Court today. Bala is charged with causing death by dangerous driving. Magistrate Penin Dalituivama has deferred the case to September 30th for Bala to take a plea. Bala, who has been announced as a Fiji first candidate for next month's elections, was initially scheduled to appear in court on, on October 20th. His case was brought forward after three consecutive adjournments due to the unavailability of the magistrate. Bala, who was also the special administrator for Tavo, allegedly hit a pedestrian, 48-year-old father of three, Puna Chand, at Teindamu near Lautoka in November last year. After the break, border control agencies agree to work together to improve security. Bola. Pula FM nampun dua na serana ini masih ngono nih buat taran di sini tiga bekian dan nanti wah en nanti ni nama ni tiar nama ibu kuri tiar lebeng kerabina nonton nonong bo kan dan nah tapi tiga ni nonong kaloko en nak kawin dan dia bawa bini nanti kembali bini tapi tiga ni awak ni mata kebo kalau lebih sorot tiga lebih sorot tali awak ni nana maka dua bateri tiga kini nak kena dua rumah di kana maki pula bini nak kah ayah salam dilawa dua bateri kini awak nak buat taran awak ni tiar nak kaloko mau ni tiga nak bawa rumah kah en nama pula FM nampun dua en serana Welcome back. This is FBC News. A questionable video uploaded to the internet that's causing media stir internationally is forcing the Fiji police to investigate and has brought numerous calls to the FBC newsroom. The video shows people being shot at as they swim near a fishing vessel far out at sea. While there is nothing to identify the victims or where the incident took place, the source that uploaded the video claims they were Fijians, which means the police are obligated to find out if it is true. It is likely the video does not involve Fijians and may even be fake, but police must investigate it further because of the claim Fijian citizens were involved. At present, no Fijian crewmen have been reported missing. One of the five men suspected to have been part of a mass gang carrying K-knives that robbed two employees of City Forex in Nandi last Friday has been further remanded in custody. Senitieli Mboli. Boila, sorry, is charged with one count of aggravated robbery. Boila complained of police brutality and requested for bail. His bail application was denied and the case has been transferred to the Lautoka High Court. Two other men who were arrested with him on Friday after the $50,000 robbery are still in hospital. Police have also arrested two escaped prisoners and are investigating whether they were involved in the robbery. 
The first national platform for disaster risk management and climate change is in the making. A workshop in Suva is working on the theme reducing disaster risk and climate change vulnerability through resilient development. Savara Tambo reports that participants have to come up with recommendations and solutions in the next four days. Having a national platform for disaster risk management and climate change will attract more partners and donors to help Fiji on these two fronts. It is fairly that we are here today to deliberate, discuss and contribute towards our way forward that will provide Fiji a positive approach to tackle disaster risk and climate change. A collaborative approach of regional and international partners who are here with us will enrich that discussion from their perspective. 23 communities will be relocated in the Northern Division as a result of climate change. Currently, we need to relocate them, whether it's parcel or total relocation of the village. What I mean by parcel is the one that's vulnerable now to climate change. Already, they are exposed to, those are the first ones that we might have to, because this comes with cost. It's going to be a cost to the government. Head of European Union in the Pacific, Andrew Jacobs, believes it's not just a government responsibility to fight climate change. But it's the role of the communities, it's the role of the local authorities to make sure that those who are potentially <coughs> at risk most from disasters and from the effects of climate change take their responsibilities in building up resilience on the ground. They have an extremely important... Fiji will receive $3.4 million through ACP EU Building Safety and Resilience in the Pacific. Samara Tambua, FBC News. The owner of Wakai Island Resort, David Gilmore, has just launched a new collection of organic products called Wakai Perfection. Ellen Stars has the details on 24 products ranging from pink ginger, dilo cream to kava, all grown on Wakai Island. This budding business has created jobs for locals on Wakai Island, as Fiji Water has done. The collection could very well put Fiji on the map yet again. We have dozens of workers that are required for operating the plant where we send the bulk commodity. It's packaged in the United States because we cannot blow glass containers and things like turmeric should not be in plastic necessarily. Glass was a better vessel. So it is packaged in California but all grown on Wakaya. Wakaya Perfection launched its first product earlier this year and following its booming success Gilmore says they decided to introduce an entire collection. Gilmore says the products are certified as Fijian made and are already selling at some major retail stores in the United States and Great Britain. Well, Princess Harrods in London, the biggest department store in the world, say annual sales of $3 billion in that one store. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue in New York, Home Shopping Network, the multi-millionaire has full faith that the line of products will have a positive impact on the Fijian economy. All my business life in Fiji has been focused at developing. That's why Fiji Water, it brought the eyes of the world on the country. Wakaya Perfection, Fijian, is, believe me, a year or two from now, is a brand that I think Fiji will be very proud of and will show remarkable results tourism, agriculture, and as a symbol of what can be done. The businessman also says we have to keep Fiji's good reputation when exporting high-end products. Today, in Fiji, should become the center of gravity for agriculture in the South Pacific. Let's grasp it, keep the quality, and create a team where we all work together and help each other, not do things that perhaps will injure each other. Wakaya Perfection plans to export to countries such as Australia, New Zealand and even Europe in the near future. Ellen Stalls, FBC News. The Fiji Revenue and Customs Authority and the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji have signed a Memorandum of Understanding Enhancing Border Protection. The MOU tightens control of Fiji's borders by intercepting illegal and unregulated transactions and drug smuggling. Maggie Boyle reports. 
Formalizing the relationship, the Fiji Revenue and Customs Authority and the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji can now share information. Both agencies will be able to share facilities, resources and common information as well as present a unified approach to compliance and enforcement of biosecurity and further regulations. The two agencies are expected to work together on a number of fronts. For example, in Nandi, yeah? We can probably task the security officers to do the screening of uh, uh, X-ray machines you know, totally, and we, the customs can focus on other things. So they focus on customs uh, doing the X-ray. We can also focus on uh, just examining you know, the body language and all that. Border protection is expected to be more effective with this MOU in place. Customs officers and biosecurity officers, in effect, will be interchangeable. For the first time, FRCA will now be able to submit all inward and outward documents like manifests, bill of landing and waiver on goods that are of interest to biosecurity. This will also include electronic documents that are required for the arrival and departure of foreign vessels, aircrafts, passengers and crew. Maggie Boyle, FBC News. Sports Now, here's Jamie with the latest. Good evening in sports tonight, the latest from the Youth Olympic Games as the Fiji under-18 7 side make it through to the semi-finals. Also coming up, Kati Ruggers impress on day one of competition. This and more after the break. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. Gold Affair Molly, the classic hits. I hope you're having fun so far. You're listening to the ride. And I'm Kara taking you through your afternoon. Stay with me to listen to more awesome classics right here on the ride. Mulubunaka for awesome sounds in the afternoon. Wonderful, wonderful classics. Join me on the ride every weekday right here on Gold FM, only the classic hits from 2 to 7. Just don't ask me what it The Galaxy Kachi Rugby competition got underway today with districts from around the country represented. The young ruggers at times trying to imitate their idols put on quite a show in Suva today. Josephine Navula has the details. All the way from the island of Mbanga, these young ruggers are here to prove that they are worth competing at national level. Their coach says the tournament is always the most looked forward sports event for the team. The Mbanga team uh, is, uh, I think, uh, for us coming all the way from Mbanga. We just want to expose our young talents from Mbanga Island and uh, competing at the national level. Pavu says the tournament has enabled management to enforce sports as part of their learning tool. Sports is uh, as part of their, part of their work when uh, they grow up, when they, they grow, when, when they become adults. As for some young ruggers, the tournament means different to them. I think we'll win this game today. The game continues tomorrow at the ANZ Stadium in Suva. Josephine Novula, FBC Sports. The Red Rock rugby team received a boost for its players who will be playing in local tournaments. The donation was made by a local businessman residing in Canada. Businessman Bobby Nyka also traveled all the way from Canada to donate the new sporting gear to the Red Rock team. Having a passion for rugby, Nyka has been sponsoring a Fijian team in Vancouver for a year. It's been my goal to support uh, youth rugby in Fiji. Um, and provide for the underprivileged and you know those of us that, that have been lucky and fortunate to have have done well I think it's it's our obligation to give some of that back and I can't see a better um, place to put that money than with youth rugby. Uh, we thank the Lord for what is going on now because we hope that we, we never spend any money and we uh, for this uh, dress it's very too high uh, and the quality too is very high. We really thanks uh, Mr. Uh, Bobby for this donation. The Navo football team hasn't had a good season this year so far, but they hope to challenge, change that at the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants. Led by veteran Sevedi Rokotakala, the Southerners will take the Govin Park on Friday, trying to emulate their success of 2005. Indra Singh has more. Navu are being former champions of the BOG, want to get back to winning ways despite not having a grand season so far. This moment coming to the, through the year, half of the year now for the league. So we're maintaining our playing uh, football. So don't let the supporters uh, 
that now is going down to the promotion. So we're looking forward. We put that aside. We're looking forward for the next big game. Rooted at the last position on the league points table, the side is not letting their recent performances be a hindrance for this tournament. We're going to put our head together and do the job next week. The mentor who has been in and out of the side recently is hoping he and his players can create the magic which has eluded the team for some time now. But still we want to prove uh, Nanavua fans and also the people in Fiji that even though Nanavua is looked as underdogs, but we'll try to do our best in the BOG. And in their bid to ensure the side is prepared up to the best of their abilities, help has also been sought from some experts. A lot of uh, technical department have come, Mr. Hussein Saib has come to help Nanavua and our coaches are doing well to make a team for the BOG. The love affair of Minos and local football tournaments should continue if Navua stays true to its word. After all, it's the battle of the Giants and the team is in it for a reason. Interesting, FBC Sports. Meanwhile, the Rewa football side has been hit with a triple setback ahead of the BOG. Goalkeeper Aquila Mat Mataisuva is out of the final 22 due to injury. Also out of the initial final squad are Sif Ali and Nasoni Mereke. Ali has migrated to Australia, while Mareke hasn't been able to get time off from work. The side is also sweating on injuries to key players, which the team management hopes will heal in time. And that's it from Sports Tonight. Good evening. It's more than Queens, Kings, Candy Floss and amusement rides. The Vodafone Hibiscus Festival also provides a business opportunity not to be missed. The food stalls are clearly one of the main attractions. From the mainstay barbecue to Asian, Indian and Fijian feasts, it's an array of food in one stop. For some of these stall owners, this year's hibiscus is providing quite a windfall. This is the first time I'm trying it in Fiji. I'm from New Zealand and I'm trying it in. It's just like hotcakes. I make profit. For others, good sales depends on good weather and that's something that doesn't always go in our favour. On Saturday, because lightning, eh? it's not so good, but uh, yesterday getting better, today getting better. It's been running good, eh? and uh, thanks a lot for the people coming here and enjoying their laughter. But uh, the thing is, uh, maybe Thursday and Friday like that, and the thing, and uh, what the business is gonna get. It. Fresh now, and what kind of weather did we have across the country? Well, Jackie, Suba and uh, Sabu Sabu had cloudy skies with brief showers throughout the day. Nandi and Lotokamba and also Lambasa all had fair conditions today. Temperatures Suba 26, Nandi 28, Lotoka and Ba 30, Sabu Sabu 26, and Lambasa 31. Tonight, again, most places will drop to a chilly 18. Tomorrow's forecast, well folks, it might be the same as today. The chance for Suva and Sabu Sabu with cloudy skies and scattered showers all throughout the day. Nandi, Lotoka, Ba and Lambasa also might have fine weather all day. For Mariners, southeast winds 15 to 20 knots and moderate seas. Now, an interesting fact, a week ago today, the town of Islip, New York received more than about 33 centimeters in just eight hours. And folks, that may be an all-time world record. A about 300,000 tons of water fell on every square kilometer of the town, enough to fill 132 Olympic swimming pools, and that is a lot of rain. Image of the day from the beautiful islands of the Asawas. Thanks so much for that, Trish. Recapping our top stories tonight. Political parties respond to the elections office removal of candidates from published list of candidates. Sadelpa leader Roti Mumukepa says FLP coalition isn't set in stone and special administrator Praveen Bala's case of causing death by dangerous driving deferred until the end of September. Now time for the Fijian Speak segment. <music> Yes, by races ways and uh, put, um, land wise. Yes, because uh, 
Now we were all Fijians, as Fiji Fest said. Now other parties are saying that we will be Indigo Fijian and Fijians will be uh, ap apart from and all will be multicultural countries like that. We, we will no longer be Fijians. Yes, they are mostly creating uh, most uh, fears to the public. One, the intimidation of uh, individual party to the other party in order to gain. You can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via Facebook page FBC News. And if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. And to receive the latest headlines on your mobile phone, text subspace FBC to 777. That's news for tonight till tomorrow. Good evening. Saru Anduru na Kaloko and Radio Fiji 1 and Domi Viki na Bunga and Binyanu. Nisan Bulevinaka na ngonoboro taki ni rongo seri na ngonan in Reko Malolo. Nisan Bulevinaka, oye wa meli kilangi. Ningi na magati umena nungu bengi rawi maina mwani tiki na warombuka and na ruwa kina wana kiloko na ngonan in rongo manive sana. Vaki na wano na ngonan in rongo seri and Radio Fiji 1 na Domi Viki na Bunga and Binyanu.